This is just a normal hotel in Shanghai's Jing'an district, one of eight in the area that have been taken over by the government to serve as medical observation quarantine locations for close contacts of those who have tested positive for COVID-19. I'm not allowed to reveal its name or exact location, but the neighbours are all well aware because this hotel was commandeered way back in January when the epidemic first hit Shanghai. First, I was shown around the hotel by the person in charge of the quarantine site, Mr. Zhou from the Jing'an Mental Health Centre and Mr. Lo from the Shanghai government's Office of Foreign Affairs. The entire first floor is occupied by the crew here, which includes doctors and nurses specialising in all areas, including mental health, a police officer who might be called on if any altercations arise, and another officer continuously monitoring the security cameras for any breach in the quarantine regulations. Also on hand is a special robot, which can be sent into a patient's room to allow a video call with an on-site doctor should any serious symptoms arise. So far, it hasn't needed to be used. Because it's less than 14 days since China's borders were closed to foreign nationals, this quarantine location still has several expats. Hey, hello, sir. Uh, we, have, uh, we have checked it. Uh, tomorrow is the 14 days. This is Dr. Yu from the Jing'an Mental Health Centre, who also works as the translator and communicates with foreign nationals every day by phone. The crew here have just got word that three incoming patients are on the way, so they jump into action preparing for the arrival of the quarantine van. At the same time, we rush to don our protective gear so that we can enter the quarantine area and document the process. I've seen the gear medical crews need to wear for hours on end each day, but I've never tried it myself. It includes two layers of protection which envelops your entire body in a seal. It's stuffy and sore, and already I can feel the goggles and masks squeezing and contorting my face. This is not going to be a walk in the park. All three patients have just flown into China and have been notified that someone in the three rows in front or behind them on the plane has tested positive for COVID-19. They're considered high risk, even though they have no symptoms and have tested negative themselves. They'll be closely monitored here over the next 14 days, including temperature readings twice a day and consultations with on-site doctors and nurses via phone. Understandably, none of the new patients were willing to talk with us on camera, and I can only imagine how nervous and worried they must be feeling, having just found out they've been in close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19. I wanted to let them know that Mr. Joe told me in the few months this site has been in operation, not a single guest has developed symptoms and tested positive here. I'm sure that lucky street will continue with them too. It's nearly 5 p.m., so during the checking in process, the crew in the kitchen are preparing dinner for the 91 patients currently in quarantine here. Breakfast is delivered at 8 a.m. and lunch is around midday. There are no choices or special requests, but patients are allowed to order delivery if they like. There's only one rule though, no alcohol. Back inside the quarantine area, I'm going with Miss Chin to the seventh floor where the last new arrival has just entered her room. We need to sterilize everywhere she walked, starting from her door and then moving backwards to the elevator. Now it's room service time. Staff delivering meals to patients' rooms are only required to wear one layer of protective clothing because they won't come into direct contact with guests here and every public area here is regularly sterilized. Once all the meals are placed on chairs left outside the rooms, medical staff knock on the doors one by one. They are then allowed to open their doors and collect their food after a minute or so. Some of them even leave notes of thanks for the crew here. After just a few hours wearing this suffocating protective gear, it was finally time to desuit. The process is slow and methodical, with sterilization needing to take place between each and every step.
For me, it took about 20 minutes, but the crew here have it down to a fine art. Oh, um, you can see on here there's l engraved lines in my face from the equipment and stuff. It's really, really uncomfortable, so I feel already so much better. When I was in there, I had a headache, I felt like vomiting, I felt dizzy, and there was a lot of uh, peer pressure, I think, because I didn't want to let the others down on the team by needing to go out early, so you've got to, you know, stick to it. But I'm really glad it's off, and I, those people that do this every day for eight hours or more, they're amazing. With the dinner deliveries done and no more patients expected today, this quarantine hotel can now quieten down for the night. Although the numbers arriving are fewer and fewer as China gains the upper hand in the COVID-19 battle, there are still people checking in and checking out every day. Tomorrow, some lucky guests' 14 days will be up and the medical crew here will bid them farewell, just as more arrive and the process starts over again. <laughs>